Maria. And I'm Tama. Welcome to the Not Only Carrots Cooking Show. Today we'll be cooking for you the vanilla custard from page 106 from my brand new cookbook, No We Don't Only Eat Carrots. Soap based food for you. <laughs> to our Thermomix, one and a half litres of soy milk. You can weigh that in at 150 grams as oh, well. 1500 grams. Oh, 1500 grams rather. That would be a very, very thick custard. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> you don't have to get every drip. But thank you for trying. Very good. This recipe can also be prepared conventionally on the stove with your saucepan. Okay, next we'll be adding in a half a cup of agave nectar. That's fun. We'll add into the um, description below all of the American conversions and the weight conversions for your Thermomix as well. Okay, make sure you get all that lovely sticky goodness out of there. But if you've got kids cooking with you, they probably won't want to get it all out because they say, oh, can I just lick it? Can I just lick it? No, my children would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll do. You can, you can lick the spoon while we're doing the next bit. Okay, next one cup of corn flour or in America they would say cornstarch. So we'll put that in, that's our thickener. I'll trade you. Yeah. All right, we'll pop that one in. If you want a, a thinner custard, just go with a half a cup, but this will make a really lovely, thick, luscious custard. Okay, <laughs> what did it ever do to you? <laughs> and we will add in two teaspoons of vanilla essence or extract if you prefer. And that's it. So easy, this recipe is just so simple. Tamar, you've made this before, haven't you, on your own? Yeah, but in a saucepan. In a saucepan as well. What did you find? Is it, is it hard to follow? No? You figured it out? You can suck that one too if you want. Okay. <laughs> We've got complaints from the sister who's watching. <laughs> okay, really easy now. I'm just going to turn this on. Um, replace your measuring cup. Okay, and you're just going to bring it 100 degrees. First, we'll just whiz it up, whiz it together. Just speed seven for a couple of seconds just to um, combine it. 100 degrees, and we will. Take it up for 15 minutes. If it thickens before that, then you can turn it off, it's fine. So 100 degrees, 15 minutes, lock off your lid, and then I like to set it to three. Um, even though it's quite a high speed, if you don't and it thickens, it will only be um, spinning on the very, very bottom part of your custard, and it's no good. That's it, literally. That's it, isn't it? We just leave it now, quarter of an hour, you'll have thick, hot custard. This custard can be cooled. What do we like to have it with? hot in the bowl on its own. We can put um, in our recipe book, we have it with raspberries. We love raspberries too. Okay, so if you don't have a Thermomix, this is absolutely 100% doable on the stove. Er, pretty much what you'll be doing is adding everything the way I suggested, except your cornstarch. You'll wanna bring, add a little bit of water to that first to make it into a nice smooth paste so that when you stir in your soy milk, it combines and you don't end up with chunks and lumps in there. That's the difference obviously with blending it. If you want to, you can blend it first and then pour it into, onto the stove and do it. If you would like to see Tamar and me um, present a non-thermomix, so the standard conventional way of making this custard recipe, just send us a comment in the link in just below here and we're very happy to do that for you as well. So we hope that you've enjoyed our cooking show today and thank you for having Tamar along, high five. And um, we would just love to hear what you thought of the show and we hope that you will grab a copy of that cookbook and learn that vegan cooking is actually really easy and really yummy, isn't it? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.